Thank you, Elizabeth. I'm joined here with Dr. Brian Faltzgraf, the director and conductor of Warburg's Opera Workshop, along with one of the performers in the show, Anders Larsen. They're here to speak with us about the collaboration of professors and students in Warburg's upcoming opera. Thank you for joining me. Can you tell me a little bit about the opera and like what the name is and that kind of thing? Uh, well, the opera is called Gianni Schicchi. Uh, it's an Italian opera by composer Giacomo Puccini. Um, it takes place in the 1200s, right? Yep. If I've done my research. Um, <laughs> and uh, it's, um, it's a comedy, and so it's, it's in designed to make people laugh. It's, uh, um, it's a one-act opera, so it's pretty short. Um, and we're doing it in English this time, so people can understand what we're saying. Okay. And what are your guys' parts in the opera? Well, uh, I conduct and direct the uh, stage movement and the music. Um, I'm assisted in that by a member of the community, uh, Nick Clementson. I'd like to mention that he's the music director at St. Paul's Lutheran Church. Uh, Anders is performing the role of Marco. He's one of several relatives of a uh, recently deceased Bozo Donati. And I understand there's community members, students, faculty, mm -hmm. all collaborating for this. Can you tell me a little bit about what those dynamics were like in practices? They've been really great, actually. I mean, from my standpoint, at the uh, at the front of the of the production, been able to watch our students as they are interacting with all of the, with these professionals and semi-professionals from the community and, and in addition to Nick Clementson, uh, our own Chris Knudsen uh, from, the, our, from our publicity department is uh, singing the role of the title role of Johnny Skiki and watching um, that kind of mentoring relationship developing between him and the 12 students in the cast has been really something. Okay. And why did you choose this opera? Uh, for a couple of reasons. Um, first of all, uh, it's a great introduction for our young singers to a larger type of operatic genre that we call grand opera. In the past few years, we've been doing a lot of one-act shows um, that are fair, that are easily accessible for a uh, private, co a small private college music department. We've got some singers who are really developing nicely now, and they're looking for an experience that can help them after they graduate. And Johnny Skiki seemed to be the perfect venue for that. The it's a comedy, as Anders already mentioned. It's relatively short. And the, uh, it's, go it's going to be sung in English, so the audience is going to be able to get the joke, uh, as we like to say. And so it just seemed like the logical choice this year. And Anders, can you describe your character a little bit more to us? What's it like playing your character? Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, I actually get a lot of uh, creative license with the particular character that I play, because there isn't a whole lot in the, in the score about specifics about who the character is and his um, and his characteristics, kind of, and so I get to kind of come up with who he is on my own. Uh, I get to make up the backstory, which a lot of actors get to do anyway. Um, but I have a special opportunity because um, because I'm so tied with all these other characters, uh, being related to pretty much all of them um, in the story, and so uh, I get to really interact with these other people in ways that maybe I haven't before in other productions, for example, or. Um, you know, I just get to develop the character sort of on my own, on my own two feet. So that's Sounds really exciting. Sounds good. Thank you so much for joining us. And again, if you want to catch a showing of Warburg's Opera Workshop, there are two performances next Thursday and Saturday night at 7.30 in the McCaskey Lyceum at Warburg's campus. Tix tickets are a suggested $5 donation at the door.